Hi, this is Dave. Do you have a nagging thought that there may be a whole lot more spiritual potential to your business or career than what you're currently seeing? You know, almost every uh, Christian business owner, salesperson, executive has, has a firm grasp on the idea of stewardship, that everything in this world, including our business, belongs to God, and we are just temporary uh, stewards of it. Everything, of course, means everything. Our families, our gifts and abilities, the position or job we hold, the influence that we have, the people in our lives, just just to name a few, everything. Now, once we understand that, we're just naturally led to this question. And that is, if that's the case, am I making everything of this business or career that God wants what exactly does stewardship mean? Is there is there a greater good, a bigger impact for his kingdom that I am not seeing or not yet realizing? I think, honestly, I think that's a very important question. What if we spent the rest of our working life in this business or in this job and in the end realized that we had missed it? That there was a larger dimension to the business, a bigger purpose, and we missed it. Oh, that would not be a good day. For almost all of my adult life, I have had a sense at a very deep level that the Lord had something larger in store for me. You know, I, I never quite understood what it was, and I rarely got a glimpse of it beyond the deeply embedded idea that I was meant for something else. At times, that idea raised to the surface and was part of uh, my career decisions. And at other times, it receded into the depths uh, from which it came, but it has always been there, honestly, for decades. It was one of the things that sustained me and gave me hope in some pretty desperate circumstances. It's only in the recent uh, couple of years that I feel like I'm seeing a clearer and more detailed picture of what that larger and deeper purpose is. I, I don't think I'm unique. You know, while God may have something larger and more spiritual in mind for me, He probably works that way with everyone, including you. You are, of course, His child. Could it be that He has something larger, deeper, and more spiritual in mind for you? Well, I think so. You know, there's this verse, quote, uh, this is from Ephesians 2.19. I'm going to quote it. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. Hmm. Could it be that God has prepared a good work for each of us uniquely and personally to do? Has God prepared a good work for you? Well, Ephesians 2.10 tells us that he has. So if so, then could it be that there is a deeper, larger purpose for your career and your business than what you currently see? Instead of just a means of making an income so you can support your family and make money, could it be that your business is a spiritual entity with a significant role to play in God's ultimate plan? Could it be that your career is a ministry above and beyond just making money? During the research that I did uh, when I was uh, writing the good book on business, I discovered that the answer to that question was a booming, emphatic yes. Here's a, here's a short list of what I discovered about business in the Bible and the purpose of your business or your career. Number one, business is the venue that God has chosen as his first choice to interact with mankind. Now, I know that's a strong statement. Okay, God's first choice as a venue to interact with mankind is business and work in the marketplace. That's a strong statement. I don't, I'm not going to have time to defend it here, but if you get the good book on business, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. What else? Well, that's, so that's number one. It's, it's, it's a venue, God's first choice of a venue. Number two, business is where we develop our faith. You know, I've often said to people, if you want to grow closer to God, if you want to have a deeper faith, start a business. <laughs> because of the challenges that will drive you to your knees, trust me. 
Number three, business is where God develops the next generation of kingdom leaders. Over and over again, God's kingdom leaders came from the world of business, and that means that the air business has a role to play in developing leaders for the kingdom. Business is where spiritual gifts are exercised. You know, we don't hear a lot about spiritual gifts. That's too bad because the Bible says, uh, brethren, I don't want you to be ignorant of spiritual gifts, but many of us are. But spiritual gifts are, are, are special attributes, uh, special abilities given to us by God uh, for his purpose. And um, they, are, they were first used in the marketplace. Yeah, you hear, you know, sometimes you hear a lot about spiritual, you hear some things about spiritual gifts from the institutional church, and, they, and it's always having to do with church programs. But that's not, that's not what the Bible says, and the, and the Bible makes it clear that spiritual gifts were first, uh, first manifested in the marketplace. So that's where spiritual gifts are exercised. Where else? Business provides economic security, of course, for the stakeholders. It's God's mechanism to provide uh, economic security. And businesses are spiritual in, uh, spiritual entities. And, and sometimes they, they morph into uh, home churches. Yeah, you can just see it in the Bible. It's in the New Testament. Just, uh, you know, read read the New Testament, and you'll see it. Uh, actually, it occurs about uh, three or four times in the book of Acts. Businesses morph into home churches. So business business is far more important to God and to the kingdom than almost anyone in our contemporary society has realized, and certainly not anything that you hear from the pulpit. Unfortunately, the common idea that business is where we make our money and church is where we do our ministry, that idea is 180 degrees different from the picture of businesses in the Bible. Business is ministry, and the Bible clearly teaches that businessmen have far more potential than just making money. The world is full, the Bible is full of ministers, quote, business people who understand that their business is their ministry. Alas, most Christian business people have never realized that because we've never looked for it. You know, once, honestly, once you change your mindset and say, okay, I'm going to see what examples the Bible gives us about business is ministry. Once, once, you, once you change your perspective and start looking for it, you see it all over the place. You know, it's just, it's, it's incredible how uh, important business is to God. So what prevents us from seeing that is often the blinders that we have put on ourselves, the ideas and the paradigms that tell us that our businesses and careers are purely sec secular and have no spiritual impact. Boy, that's one of Satan's greatest lies. By getting people to believe that, he has taken hundreds of thousands, millions of business slash ministers and put them on the sidelines in the in the war against uh, in the war between good and evil. He's just taken Christian business people and set them on the bench because they think that their business has got nothing to do with the uh, with the kingdom. That's a lie that is uh, incredibly, incredibly sad. I think it must be one of Satan's greatest coups. He's been able to do that. So, you know, as long as we believe that, we will be oblivious to the greater spiritual potential that lies in that which we do for a living. And as a result, as a result of that, we miss it. We miss it. We spend our entire lives in businesses pursuing goals that are not in alignment with our spiritual purposes. And that is incredibly sad. So if you think that there's more spiritual potential for your business or your career, then you got you got to uh, you got to get in contact with other people who can support that idea, and you got you got to expose yourself to content ideas that uh, that enforce that. One place to do that is something we call the XI community. XI stands for excellence and influence. 
excellence and influence. And it's a it's a one stop shop for Christian business people where we bring together uh, pe- uh, Christian business people and help them develop excellence and influence in their careers and businesses. It's a one stop shop for content and connections. So if you're interested, I'll leave I'll put the um, uh, URL uh, in the show notes. You can just click on it and check it out. It's all by the way, it's five bucks a month. I know, I know, I know. But, you know, here's here's the deal. We don't want your money. We want your engagement. And uh, if you want to be a member of the XI community, you have, to, you have to engage. And if you don't, you know, if you don't engage, we're just going to ask you to leave. Okay, so five bucks a month. Check it out. XI community, nothing like it. All right, that's it. We're done. Bye-bye.